Hey everybody, welcome back to Sustainability Sunday. You know, the skiing's been so good lately and the weather's so beautiful. We thought these few weeks would be a great time to take you on a tour with us uh, and introduce you to some of the sustainability features that you might interact with once you get out of the base area. So let's go for a lap. So one thing about our sustainability program that we're super proud of is our commitment to walking the walk while we talk the talk. We've mentioned how important advocacy and outreach is to our program. And we've also over the last few weeks covered a lot of the other cool stuff and tangible projects we have going on here at the mountain to reduce our environmental impacts. So a really cool part of that is the fact that we have such unique opportunities here on the mountain to put some of our sustainability principles uh, to practice. Uh, up here on the upper mountain, we have remote buildings, off-grid locations, um, places where it's very difficult to bring water or power. Um, and while those are challenges, those are all also huge opportunities for us to completely limit and avoid the environmental impacts associated with running the business in a beautiful and remote alpine environment like this. So we've got projects up here that contribute to our renewable energy goals, our water conservation goals, our waste, reduction goals, as well as our ecosystem stewardship and conservation goals. Uh, and some of those best examples are found with some of the remote installations around the hill. So let's go check some of those out now. So here we are at the top of Poly, the center of the universe. Uh, behind me, we've got the Poly Outpost one of our handful of completely off-grid buildings here at the ski area. You can see this great solar array behind me that's just under a kilowatt in size that provides enough power uh, to have lights in the shack for our ski patrol friends, as well as basically a hot plate. They're keeping their coffee warm and making some hot tea, um, as well as to provide a little bit of power to uh, operate the Clivus composting toilet that's also in this place. Um, We've also got off-grid buildings, bottom of Zuma, bottom of Beavers, with pretty much the same setup. Next time you're skiing around in those more remote corners of the ski area, make sure you got your eyes peeled for stuff like this that you see behind me uh, and all the cool, unique sustainability projects we've got all over the hill. Uh, so let's go take a rip. We're gonna head to the summit next, where we're gonna take a look at the highest renewables project at a ski area anywhere in the world. Hey everybody, we are here at the summit. The patrol headquarters building is behind me. Uh, home to Il Refugio, the highest restaurant in North America. It is also home to the highest renewable energy project at a ski area anywhere in the world. Uh, so we've got 30 panels of uh, photovoltaic solar going on on the south roof behind me here. And at 12,456, we have not yet been able to find any other uh, higher solar arrays at a ski area anywhere out there. Happy to be corrected if you can find one. So the PHQ building is also home to one of our many Clivus composting toilets, helping to make this one of our waterless buildings. So just like Style Hump, a little bit downhill from here, uh, there's not gonna be any running water here for water bottle filling, for example. So if you need water, uh, grab that in the base area or at the Black Mountain Lodge. So having these sustainability features here at the top of the mountain is just yet another really clear message that you can have solar and you can have sustainable operations pretty much anywhere. So let's go check out some more down at Style Hunt. So here we are at the Style Hunt Hut. This upper mountain building is home to some of our cool and unique sustainability features as well. Uh, we've got a solar array on the south facing roof here behind me, just like the array at the summit. Uh, that power is all tied in to the Excel Energy uh, Colorado electricity grid, and it's helping us and helping them get us to that 100% renewable goal we've talked so much about in the past. You know, another cool thing about solar arrays like this one and the Il Refugio array is that it's just a shining example of a unique 
and remote and perhaps more challenging place where it is still possible to have on-site renewable power generation. So inside the building, we've got some cool stuff going on. It's the home to another Clivus composting toilet. This is yet another waterless building. So again, remember to get your water bottles filled somewhere below here. So another cool thing we've got going on here in an effort to use less energy overall is some light harvesting we have going on. There are some really unique solar tubes in the composting toilet bathrooms. Next time you're in there, take a look up at the ceiling and that is not a light. That is just sunshine filtering through the ceiling. Yet another cool sustainability feature, all adding up to helping us avoid some of the impacts associated with running a building at 12,000 feet. So thanks for cruising around with us. We'll see you next time.